Here's a quick look at the new improved version of the Yeti Rambler lowball glass. It sells for $20 and now it's built to be stackable if the lids are off. All right, here's a quick look. There's the stacker bottom. So you can see how it would interlock with other ones that don't have a lid on them. And then reading the labels, I got some ideas beyond just using it for liquor. You can see when they mentioned you can have Sunday Sundays, I realized that this thing is actually a pretty good food serving container. It's just a little over four inches tall and then it's three and a half inches wide. So you could definitely get a spoon in there if you wanted to eat ice cream or chili with it. Um, I'm going to do some heat retention tests with it and addition, we'll try some hot cold things in there and just see how they do as far as eating food out of it. It does come in a lot of different colors. So if you wanted to get different colors, like the green ones at the beginning of the video, you can do that. I just always like the old school standard aluminum color. So well, now one upgrade over the previous version is that you now get a mag slider lid with it that closes, not waterproof. Here's what happens if you turn it upside down with the lid closed. We shake it around a little bit. It's, it's not a total water seal, but it's pretty good. I think it'll keep you from spilling if you're just walking around with it. But mag slider meaning it's magnetic. So to clean it, you just pop it off like that. You can clean it that way you don't get all kinds of coffee and crud in the lid. You take it apart to clean it and then you put it back together and it just magnetically attaches there. It is too thick to fit into a standard cup holder on most cars. Care instructions. Most important part is that you can wash it in the dishwasher. This is to Virtue Signal. If you wanna stick that on your car, you're welcome to it. I think I'm gonna stick it on my Walmart cooler. Decent. And here's what I mean when I'm talking about eating food out of it. So this is a thermos thermo cafe. Like you would put your soup in here. This thing can keep stuff warm for a long time because it has such a fat lid on it, but you, you put your soup in here and then six hours later, it would still be hot. But when you're going to eat out of it, you can see the, the hole in it is even smaller than what you get on the Yeti. And it's also a taller jar. So if you were having a cup of chili or a cup of soup or ice cream in the hot day, you could definitely eat it out of the Yeti with the spoon even more conveniently than you could out of uh, a traditional food jar. Uh, if you do that, I recommend using a spoon that's built for food jars with a, with a square edge on it. You can see how well this one gets into the corners. I'll put a link in the description. This is from Uko. I think they're $1.50 or $2 each. Well worth it. And it also doesn't sc scratch it up like a metal one would. Now you might say 10 ounces is tiny, but that's 10 ounces up to the lid. So if you're using it without a lid, uh, we spilled a little bit, but you can see, you can see we're over the 12 ounce mark. So it's somewhere closer to 13 ounces that it holds, which means you can put a full can of 12 ounce chili in here. You can put a full can of soup in here. Um, full beer in there too. If you wanted this to be your beer mug, you could do that. Perfect. I don't know why there's a guy vomiting on the label, but it's gonna be ice cold. It's also great for coffee in the morning. It'll keep your coffee warm if you're a person who just drinks normal size person amounts of coffee. And this is the Yeti versus an old fruit jar to see how long it retains its cold versus a traditional glass jar. 30 minutes. Big chunky ice versus a little melty ice in the sun. One hour. I don't know if you can see it. There's one, one lonely ice cube right there that's tiny. So the Yeti, low ball, 10 ounce tumbler, still has big fat ice. It's definitely melted a little bit. All right, that's an hour and a half. So it's 61.8 degrees. And in the old fruit jar, there are two dead bugs floating at the top. 20.5, chilly most from coast to coast. You can still see that there's ice. All right, three hours, I'm calling it. There's no more ice to be seen in the Yeti. So I think we pretty much reached its maximum limit. Three hours in direct sunlight is pretty impressive, I think. So 29.5 degrees. This is the hot water test. We're gonna do it with the lid on and closed. It's 66 degrees in the house. Starting temperature, 202.6. Shut the lid. Start the G-Shaka. 31 minutes in, 179.4. After an hour, 165 degrees. Here we are at an hour and a half, 90 minutes, 153.5. All right, two hours in. 143.2. So you lose 59.4 degrees in two hours. That's pretty good. 
And you do feel some warmth on the lid. So the lid doesn't seal all the heat in. Obviously it can't because it's just a single layer of plastic, but wow, that's still hot enough to drink. So if you waited two hours to drink a cup of coffee, it would still be hot enough to be pleasant. All right, this is the ice cream experiment. So I'm not gonna put the lid on. We'll just throw some ice cream in here and then let it sit for maybe half an hour or an hour and just see if it's all melty. There we go, I'll call that one the serving of ice cream. Set the old analog watch. So here we are at the 30 minute mark. There's no condensation on the outside of the mug. And as you can see, ice cream is still solid. It's starting to, starting to loosen up a little bit, but we're gonna go for an hour. I'm gonna eat this piece. And fast forward to one hour. So it's definitely still ice creamy. It's a little soft on top, but after an hour, with the lid off, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna add these nuts and have myself a snack.